Hi everyone, Roy here with another Onshape tech tip. I'm making some changes to this subassembly, but unfortunately I've forgotten which of the parts I modified since revision A and which parts were unchanged. I only want to continue changing and re-release the parts that have been modified, but everything is linked to the workspace, so it's not clear which parts those are. Did you know that you could use Onshape change detection to figure this out? I'll initiate a release candidate for the subassembly as if I'm ready to release it. This triggers Onshape's change detection, which will look at each part and identify if any geometry or metadata has changed between the current workspace and the last issued revision. When it completes, it clearly calls out which components have not changed and allows me to revert their references back to the last revision. In this case, I'll quickly complete this for all unchanged items in one go using the button at the top. And I'll just wait a moment for it to complete. I'm not actually ready to submit this release, so I'll just cancel the dialog at this point. Notice the unchanged parts now show a static revision reference in the instance list, while any changed parts continue to show the workspace reference. It is now readily apparent which parts I wish to continue editing. I hope you find this unique use of change detection helpful. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more video tech tips.